Yeah, I, I'm always so amazed and I just love the <laughs> simplicity of this training and applying it to my everyday life. It's so simple and it applies to every moment of my life, in every circumstance of my life I can apply the simple instruction of the Balanced View Training. And the simple instruction is to rest for short moments repeated many times, recognizing open intelligence whenever we remember to do so. We stop, we stop thinking for a moment and see what remains. What remains when we stop thinking? We see that there is something always present, always on, always alert. That is open intelligence, shining forth in every moment of our life. Inseparable from open intelligence, all our thoughts, emotions, sensations that we call data. All data shining forth, the base is open intelligence and through the practice of recognizing that there's something stable about us, always on, always shining through in every moment. We recognize it for a short moment, repeat it many times, whenever we remember to do so. We rest body and mind completely for a short moment. And we can do it everywhere, wherever we are, whatever we do in our life, whatever profession we have, whatever religion we are um, practicing, whatever background we have, everybody can rest completely, their body, body and mind. And see that there's nothing needs to be done with all our data, with all the display of what is happening in, the, in, in our mind stream. We can just allow it just completely to be as it is. That's what we do when we take a short moment. We recognize that nothing needs to be done with all our data resting deeply. And initially that might be, we, we might not remember it every moment of our day, we just maybe remember it two times a day, but even that, completely fine. We rest whenever we remember to do so, we just stop for a moment. And soon enough we remember it more and more throughout our lives, throughout our day. It just becomes more and more continuous, more and more natural that nothing need be done with all our data all the thoughts, emotions, sensation. We see that more and more nothing need be done about that. So we completely relax into that. It's amazing because we just see, we, can, we just know it also so instinctively when we are completely relaxed, we just see, are so much more clearer in, in how we are in the world, how we make decisions, how we relate to people, um, how we feel comfortable within ourselves. We all know that completely, instinctively. And what we now see is that we can just train that up completely, feeling completely comfortable and at ease in every moment of our life. That is our natural state. That has maybe just become unnoticed because we were so used to focusing in all the data that is going on in our mind stream. All the thoughts, emotions, sensations, they all got that um, focus where we just try to change everything. That was my experience of everyday life. I just try, try to change everything about myself. I wanted to have good thoughts, good emotions, good sensations, good experiences. just want these kind of people around me, not that kind of people around me. I mean, all this trying to effort in to feel well and feel comfortable with myself. And now to see that nothing needs to be done, I can completely <coughs> relax, completely relax within that. I don't need to work anymore with myself. Don't need to try to be someone, not trying to be different, not trying to have um, some specific circumstances in place in order to feel comfortable and at ease. We can feel comfortable at ease at every moment of our life, no matter what comes up, no matter the data, if it's pain, if it's anger, if it's frustration, if it's joy, no matter what comes up, we can be get completely at ease, recognizing open intelligence shining forth within everything, in every moment. And again and again we repeat that for short moments, always coming back to that simple instruction and we, can, we just test it out in our life. We just test it out now, today how that is to just completely relax in every moment, really focusing on relaxing body and mind completely. It's such a relief, such a relief that we don't need to work or effort anymore, 
trying to hold some identity in place or try to be someone or try to look good or try to be cool or whatever it might be for us. And there's so much efforting in that and just relaxing completely. We just naturally flow. We just naturally see how we can use all our strengths, gifts and talents to, to the benefit of all. And the benefit of all includes everyone. There's no separation of somebody in balanced view or not balanced view. Everyone is the shining forth of open intelligence. It doesn't matter. The benefit of all includes everyone, even ourselves. And, and to rest, just relax deeply within that. It doesn't matter what other people do. We are all so committed to, to benefit of all. And that's great because we come together as a grassroots mo movement to join together to be of benefit to ourselves and others, to support each other, no matter what decisions other people do in their lives. We can just be of complete support to the world. And it just, it's just so beautiful to see that. And then there we just relax. When we feel that there's some um, data around that, we just take it as an opportunity to relax completely. Every data is a perfect opportunity. Every um, thought, emotion that comes up is an invitation to rest. That's what data are. All data are an invitation to rest completely, recognizing that open intelligence is the basis and nothing else. Each single data. So it's perfect. In that way, all the data, even the ones that we really want to get rid of or not want to feel like pain and, and um, anger or whatever it might be for us, these are suddenly this <coughs> golden opportunities because those were the ones that we really always tried to get rid of or try to change and and I could see all the data that I didn't like about myself or the data that I d wanted to get rid of they were my greatest empowerment completely because they really um, gave me the invitation to let it be as it is they were the reminders to allow it to be as it is and seeing that all data have that energy in them that we could, can use for the benefit of all. Each data, positive, negative or neutral. And, and that's amazing when we, we get to see life like that because then we can just be in any circumstance, be with any um, situation life's, life gives, life presents itself for us and be at completely at ease, not only completely at ease, but knowing also how to be and how to act within everything that comes up for us always having the, the benefit of all as our focus in how we relate with other people and how we are in the world, how we want to use our mind, how we want to use our energy and, and capability to, in the world. How do we want to be of benefit? And now suddenly we, we just see more and more clear how we can do that because we're not blindsided by the data that come up. We're not blindsided by all the the energy that just just comes up that we label in a specific way, we just allow it to be completely. And using the four mainstays as the, the support system to really allow us to really see that and recognize open intelligence in every moment of our life. That's what the four mainstays are here for us to do, to empower us to see it in every moment of our life, that open intelligence is inseparable from all data. So we can make use of all the four mainstays, which is the, the practice of the short moments that I was speaking about now. Just allowing everything to be as it is. Coming to meetings and training settings where we just deepen more and more the recognition of open intelligence. Learning how to apply it really to everyday life, really to every circumstance, all the juicy data that we thought we cannot be at ease with or rest with. It supports us more to let everything be as it is. Then we have the trainer that supports us completely to outshine all data. Always completely available uh, to point us back to open intelligence. And then the community is a fourth mainstay. All together, I mean, coming together in that powerful way to really um, be of benefit together. Really creating something that where we, the only focus is of everyone to be of benefit of all. Nobody's interested in, in any self-improvement project anymore. Everybody just wants the benefit of all. And coming together in that, I mean, we, we can make incredible, or we are doing incredible things together. 
It is really powerful how we can work in teams together when the focus is just everybody has a single focus of the benefit of all. Not the focus is on our own well-being or trying to stand out or trying to be the best or whatever it might be. No, the, the focus is the benefit of all. And that's incredible because then we can see already that it just makes so much sense that there's so much more um, capacity there to really be of benefit. To be really using all our strengths, gifts and talents and see how we can apply that in the world. So it's, it's so powerful to allow ourselves to join together in that way and training that up, coming together and see what is possible for us as human beings we, and, and for the world. Seeing really how we can demonstrate another way of living where we support each other in the empowerment and flourishing of our strengths, gifts and talents seeing and seeing how we can contribute them. And that's why we're coming together here as, as that. Because we all want to demonstrate that. We all want to make a difference in the world. And it all starts with each one of us really empowering ourselves, seeing how we can contribute there and getting the support completely to do that. Complete support, 24-7. We have support to really flourish and use our strengths, gifts and talents however we would like. <laughs>